Today we'll show you how to make an XT60 connector for the Cobalt 40 volt battery using EVA foam. This is the connector where you connect to the battery terminal and use it for an electric scooter or anything that runs on 40 volts. I made one before but this one is made of wood. I want to try something else this time and uh, I want to use EVA foam because it's softer and it's a lot easier to make than wood. I'm using 10 millimeter EVA foam and you want a piece of foam that is thick enough so that when you mount the metal bracket on here it's going to compress the foam. If your foam is too thin it's not going to be strong enough to support the metal bracket. This is 10 millimeter thick and I find it adequate enough for this project. For the metal bracket, I'm using this piece of aluminum I salvaged from a computer heatsink. And I'm going to just cut it out using an aviation snip. Just like that. Next step is to mark where I'm going to cut on the foam to mount the metal bracket. Positive terminal right here, negative terminal right here. So, just mark it here and here. Now we're going to cut the slot for the bracket. One here. I'm cutting it all the way through. Now we can push the metal bracket through the foam. Now I need to bend the bracket over right there where the line is. I just went ahead and drill a hole on the bracket so I can mount it on the foam. Now I can just push it through the slot. I'm using a washer and put it underneath the bracket to increase the contact surface area so that to prevent the bracket from sinking into the foam too much. Next step is to make a hole to put my screw through. So instead of using a drill, I'm just using a screwdriver. And that's a cool thing about foam is you don't have to use any special tool or drill. So easy to work on. On the bottom, I'm also going to use a washer to increase the contact surface area. I grind the washer on one side so that the hole on the washer will line up with the hole for the uh, screw. Now we can put the screw through here and it will go through all the way through the top. I've got my XT60 cable ready to install size 12 so that it can handle higher current and I got a round lock at the other end. Now we're going to secure it with a lock nut. And voila! You see how it compresses the foam a little bit? But it has very secure connection. Let's give it a try, shall we? Very easy to push in. When you make this by foam, it has higher tolerance because it's so flexible. So even when you make an error on your measurement, it would still fit in here just fine. And you can just bend the foam a little bit and just easily fit in here. Compared to something that's made by wood, this is more rigid and it's not very flexible. So it has a lower tolerance to protect the terminals from shorting out. I cut out another piece of foam and it will go on the top just like that. And then I'm going to use zip tie to tie them together just like that. Terminals are all protected. My main objective for this project is to replace my 80 volt battery with two 
40 volt battery and I'm going to connect this two in series and these have higher capacity and discharge rate compared to my 80 volts and that means I can go further and faster with these two batteries another way I can use this connector is to hook it up to my 36 volt inverter this is actually a 36 volt UPS power supply let's go ahead and turn this on okay turn off the beep here now we turn on the heater there we go yeah that's hot works just fine with the 40 volt adapter so this is extremely useful for any 36 volt application and that's all for now folks thanks for watching and i will see you next time